special. Let's take a look at our highlights from this contest. As uh, right off the bat, Xavier Thomas actually gets a chance to throw the football. That's the first play from scrimmage. He got it out to Kenneth Johnson. Then Xavier Thomas will run it into the end zone, and the Patriots are off and running. West Jetwood will respond with a touchdown of their own on the opening drive for them offensively. Getting into the end zone was Kyvin Johnson. And then on the run here, Charles Coleman running hard into the end zone for a score. Then Royal Falgo throwing it deep downfield, and there's Charles Coleman for the touchdown. How about this punt return by Xavier Thomas? 42 yards as he outruns the punt coverage team for West Jeff. Scampers into the end zone, but not to be denied. West Jeff, big play coming up here from Joshan Barbie. Kickoff return for a score. Bucks trying to hang into this football game. Hard run here by Falgo in the fourth quarter or on fourth down and one. Again, West Jeff, Kyvin Thomas, or Kyvin Johnson hitting Kerry Newman for that score. As West Jeff got it within a touchdown. On this run here by Kyvin Johnson, just flipping it out and finding Ronja Watson in the back of the end zone. And West Jeff, he kind of thought might have a chance to Maybe pull off a huge comeback, but it was not to be. John Errett was too much. We take a look at our final stats in this one. 438 total yards for John Errett. And even though the penalty, look at the 130 yards in penalties. That was just, that was a killer for the Buccaneers. They, they just could not get out of their own way. And a good a good balanced attack from the Patriots between the run and the pass with Falgo. And obviously some of those passes were just flipping the ball to Xavier and Thomas forward. Yeah, no, good balance. 244 rushing yards, too, 194 on the pass. But again, you're right, too many penalties there for West Jeff with 130 yards. And I'll tell you what, you're not going to win a lot of games like that. 